So, you're here to master ballistic and elevate your gameplay, where you've come to the right place. Let's dive in. Ballistic isn't satisfied with just two guns, oh no, he craves more firepower. Thanks to his passive ability Sling, he carries a third weapon. However, there's a catch. Any weapon nestled in his sling won't hold any attachment upgrades, so choose wisely. Next up, his tactical ability Whistler. This handy tool fires a single projectile and it's no ordinary bullet. Lock it onto a target and it will relentlessly track them, dealing a guaranteed 20 damage. Or you can fire it in a straight line, where it will adhere to the first surface it encounters, creating a damaging dome. Any enemy who dares touch this dome will take 5 damage, but there's more. Any foe struck by this bullet or dome gets a 12 second debuff. Now, if they reach a certain threshold by firing enough of their weapon, it overheats, dealing them 30 damage, rendering their gun unusable for a brief yet critical second. This power comes with a cooldown of 25 seconds. Finally, let's talk about his ultimate, which is a bit of a game changer, providing a buff to Ballistic and any teammate within a 10 meter radius. After a brief activation period, everyone affected will reload faster, move quicker, and enjoy a lavish supply of infinite ammo. Plus, Ballistic himself gets a fully gold upgraded sling weapon for the 30 second duration of this buff. And here's the cherry on top. For every kill made by anyone with the buff, its duration extends by 5 seconds. Use it wisely, as it has a cooldown of 2 minutes. Lastly, it's important to note that Ballistic belongs to the Assault class. This means he has the class perk of unlocking weapon supply bins that hold upgrades tailored to his team's current loadout. Plus, he can hoard more ammo per stat compared to standard legends. So that's the basic rundown of Ballistic, but hold tight, we're just getting started. Now we'll delve into the nitty gritty, how to optimize Ballistic's abilities, Ballistic gameplay strategies, and then the strategies to counter him. Here we go. Ballistic's passive presents two primary strategies. One, opt for a third weapon that doesn't rely heavily on attachments, like a wingman or peacekeeper. These can be used to fill a gap in your current loadout's versatility. Two, choose a weapon that, when supercharged by his ultimate, will significantly ramp up your damage output at crucial moments. Do keep in mind if you intend to utilize the slung weapon as a third option outside of your ultimate, it's best to avoid it being a third ammo type to manage. Although worst case, if you go for the likes of a wingman or shotgun which aren't very ammo hungry, then you'll only need to carry a single stack for them, so it's not too bad. But if you're using it only during his ultimate to leverage its full upgrades and infinite ammo, then take your pick because any ammo type will do. Let's talk about how to swap weapons in the sling. The process is pretty straightforward, but it's something you should know. In your inventory interface, hover over your sling weapon and press and hold your interact button to swap it with your secondary. You can also hold your tactical button to swap it with your primary. Of course, good old drag and drop works too, and if you're looting a box, right click to equip it to your sling, or hold it down to swap with your existing sling weapon. In the early game, if you haven't yet found the ideal sling weapon, it's a smart move to hold a potential main weapon in the sling until you come across upgrades. It can also be a nice way to ferry a specific weapon to a teammate who has a preference, like the R301 enthusiasts we all know, without compromising your loadout. In addition, it can also be useful to arm a newly respawned ally. Note that supply drop and gold fully kitted weapons can't be added to the sling, so when a Kraber tempts you, know that it will disrupt your planned loadout synergy. But let's be honest, you'll probably pick it up anyway. Ballistic's tactical ability Whistler has an intriguing lock-on mechanic. The moment you aim it, it goes blue, and within a second of aiming at a target, it locks on and turns orange. This works up to a range of around 75 meters. Beyond that, the animation doesn't activate. Once you've locked on and fired, the bullet auto-acquires your target after it's traveled a few meters in the direction you've aimed. This capability lets you fire it around obstacles or even shoot it in the air or the opposite direction, and it'll still go towards its mark. The lock-on holds for up to 3 seconds after losing sight of the target, allowing it to still auto-acquire if fired within this window. Targets hit by the bullet will see a warning banner saying missile locked. The bullet inflicts 20 damage on hit and an additional 30 if the enemy overheats their gun. Do note however this overheat damage can't deal the final blow and therefore can't knock an enemy. Even without the lock-on, Whistler is still really effective as a zoning tool. It has no bullet drop, allowing prime accuracy to discourage enemies from passing through a specific area. Keep in mind though, its auto-acquisition feature doesn't guarantee a hit. Savvy opponents who evade behind obstacles at the right moment can intercept it. One of the prime advantages of Whistler is its versatility. You can use it while performing many standard actions like healing, firing and reloading. This means you don't have to give up as many options when deciding to use it. You may find that due to the mechanic of holding down the button, cancelling the ability isn't so straightforward. If you change your mind and decide not to use it, one primary workaround is to melee. 
You can also do other interactions like wall jump, zip line, or use one of your meds to cancel it too. Ballistic's ultimate ability offers a 30 second buff to any ally within a 10 meter range, and anyone who enters this range while it's active gets the remainder of the buff even once they move out of range. The duration increases by 5 seconds per kill or assist for anyone affected by the buff who remains within range. This gives it a unique capability to chain fights together, providing a sustained advantage. Gunrunner fully upgrades the weapon in the sling, including with specific sights. For instance, the wingman and sniper will have a 1 and 10 times digiscope, and weapons with intermediate ranges will have appropriate sights, like a 2 times for assault rifles and LMGs, and 2 to 4 times for marksman weapons. It's worth noting that weapons like the Sentinel and Rampage come with their charge mechanic activated during the ultimate, adding more value to these options. Given the style of play encouraged by the ultimate, a charge rampage, which can break down doors in two hits, can be particularly effective when dealing with an enemy team bunkered down in a building. During the ult, your secondary tactical button will bring out your sling weapon. You can also bring it back out after switching away during the ultimate by pressing the ultimate button again. The speed increase you receive matches your armed move speed with your unholstered speed. This means there's no downside to keeping your weapon out as you charge at your enemies for the duration of the ultimate. A clever tip to make the most out of the ultimate is to reload all your weapons from its infinite ammo pool just before the ultimate runs out. This gives you an extra clip of ammo for free, especially useful in those sweaty lobbies when your team are running a little low on reserves. One neat trick, you can cancel the ultimate animation by switching to the gun in your sling, which keeps the ability off cooldown for future use. Now because Ballistic's ultimate is centered around his loadout, I'm going to include my loadout recommendations here instead of my normal format. The optimal loadout for Ballistic can vary greatly depending on factors like team composition, map, personal playstyle, and preference. However, here are some general guidelines and suggestions that you might find useful. Generally, players should aim to leverage the benefits provided by Ballistic's ultimate. Weapons with high DPS and a high rate of fire will help maximize the potential of this ability. The R99 and Devotion are prime examples of weapons that can benefit greatly from fully upgraded attachments and have a quick time to kill. Other popular options include the RE45 and Mozambique. These weapons are particularly effective due to the Hammer Point upgrade, which enables the weapons to deal an additional 50 or 30% damage respectively to unshielded opponents. As part of your main loadout, these don't get much action due to their reliance on finding this rare Hammer Point hop-up leading into late game. But with the increased reload speeds, along with full upgrades, they perfectly supplement most setups. Given the current state of ranked play, ulting with a sniper to give it a 10 times digiscope can be a safe way to participate in kills in certain scenarios. This option may not be preferable over others in most cases, but to the slower, casual player, you may find a place for this style of play. Particularly when you factor in that the advantage from his upgrade element of his ultimate falls off by late game due to most players' weapons being fully kitted out already. If you're seeking a versatile weapon to complement your arsenal, as mentioned earlier, the wingman and shotguns perform well even without the use of upgrades compared to most other weapons, and therefore make the ideal pocket pick allowing you to go ahead with less ideal primary and secondary options. Ballistic shines in high pressure situations and particularly with engagement strategies in mind. Unlike other legends who engage primarily for their own benefit, his kit often involves his team in the action. His tactical ability is extremely powerful, especially in close range fights and 1v1 scenarios. Once an opponent is hit, if you have sufficient health, it's often a safe bet to push forward. Whistler is also effective for countering enemy advances, as the enemy often exposes themselves in an attempt to engage. If you can isolate your line of sight to deal with the overextended, overheated enemy, you'll easily get the upper hand. Given the relatively low cooldown and long duration of Ballistic's ultimate, it's beneficial to use it at the start of fights whenever possible rather than saving it. This strategy can significantly boost your team's chances of coming out on top, and the ultimate will often be off cooldown again before you know it anyway. Playing against Ballistic requires specific strategies to counter his abilities. For instance, Watson's ultimate can delete Whistler if it comes into range. Additionally, Overheat doesn't seem to impact Legend ability weapons such as Rampart's LMG and Vantage's Sniper. Certain Legend-specific interactions can break Whistler's lock-on. These include Bangalore's Smoke, phasing abilities like Ash's ultimate or Wraith's ult and tactical, and Catalyst's ultimate. Furthermore, the fortified damage reduction buff that the larger hitbox legends possess also reduces Whistler's damage. When it comes to legend synergies, Ballistic pairs well with several legends. His ultimate speed buff stacks with those of Bloodhound, Octane, Bangalore, and Maggie, leading to bursts of extreme speed. Moreover, legends like Pathfinder and Ash can capitalize on enemies affected by the overheat debuff due to their exemplary engage tools. All in all, Ballistic is such a well-rounded support that you'd be hard-pressed to find another legend whose kit isn't bolstered by his ultimate. 
Once you've become comfortable with Ballistic's core strengths and can play him effectively in ranked games, it's recommended to watch high-level players who frequently use him in their streams or YouTube videos. As Ballistic is a relatively new character, there may not be a standout player to recommend as of yet, but there are plenty of pros and predator players using him in their content. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more in the future, your support in helping reach 1000 subscribers would be much appreciated. This milestone will enable the production of more frequent content to support the casual competitive community. Ballistic introduces a variety of new mechanics and has found his place as a valuable team member who doesn't seem overpowered, fitting well into the current roster. He can be played in many different ways, which contributes to his versatility. But remember, we play for fun. So if it stresses you too much, cool off, touch grass, and when you play, play to win.